Hello, welcome to another video, another swimming question answered. The title of this question, Lane Sharing Etiquette. Did I meet a Karen or was I really in the wrong? Oh boy, okay. Pool, 25 meters, is now only two lanes since the other three lanes are occupied by swimming lessons. Okay, so this is a five lane pool. Three of the lanes are taken by swimming lessons and there's two available for lap swimming, okay. Went to the pool and both lanes are occupied by two persons and is split in half. Uh oh, bad idea. So I went to one lane, placed my water bottle on the deck, okay, and decided to jump in once uh, the one on the right side is touching the gutter and the one on the left is near or halfway, okay. Uh, I am sure she saw me jump in, so I didn't really talk to her because I thought it communicated already that I will be joining the lane and thought obviously it meant circle swimming. Uh oh. So I followed her right after. Then when she reached the other side and pushed off, she hit me and this started her saying that I should have talked to her and the other lane guy because they have talked that they would split it. I think I just replied I thought she understood it then. I say circle swim and tried not to push the topic further, but it is very evident she is fuming. I can hear her loudly even with earplugs. And her main concern is that I should have talked to her. Anecdotal, and I sure hope not to be seen as sexist, so far the ones who ask if they can share a lane are females. And I've seen more females wait in the bench for a lane to open up to be split than to circle swim. Uh, males here tend to just look at you and smile when wanting to split or to just jump in to circle swim if the lane is split. Then when you both bump into each other for not noticing, just say sorry or oops and signal their finger in circle motion. I bring this up because mom says I was in the wrong. Dad agrees with me that joining a lane to make it three or more already communicates or only means circle swimming. Okay, this is a lot to digest. And for you beginners that don't understand these lingos here, I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, so first of all, there are two lanes available at this pool that he's swimming in. Only two lanes. Only two. Keep that in mind. Visualize that first. Now, what's the difference between split swimming and circle swimming? Okay, so they're both lap swimming. But the split swimming is you split one lane with two people. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, they just go back and forth like this. Okay, they don't touch, they don't go in a circle. This is the one lane, one lane you're sharing with another person, another swimmer. You're just going back and forth like this. Okay, circle swimming looks like this. Okay, it's a giant loop. Okay, so you, you can share the lane with one or more swimmers doing circle swimming. Now, most public pools, as a lifeguard that I've seen, advocate circle swimming. Why? Because uh, most times at a pool, there are a lot of people, okay? There's more than four people sharing a lane, obviously. So when you do circle swimming, you have an unlimited amount of people that can swim, unfortunately. So there's a lot of people. I've seen, I've circle swam in lanes with like 10 or more people. That's how, how bad the traffic can get. But you can cram in more people, right? With split swimming, you're limited to just two people per lane. Okay, now in this situation, he should have seen it before he even jumped into the water. There's two lanes available and the four people that are swimming currently are doing split swimming. He should have seen that before he jumped in, ever jumped it. Okay, so here's my piece of advice in this situation. Know when to swim. Know thy enemy. If you're going to play poker, know who you're playing poker with. If you're playing high stakes back rat poker with James Bond, the, the high rollers table in Geneva, Switzerland, you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you're a beginner. Okay? So, this is what I do. Before I even enter the water, I look at who I'm swimming with. Okay? I just stand at the deck with my flip flops, my body rinsed, and I decide. Hmm, how, where should I invest my time? Which lane should I choose? 
to do my first set. Okay? There is no rule saying you cannot loiter or linger around a pool deck. No, you can spend as much time as you want, okay? Decide before you enter the pool. So if there are, for example, if I saw this situation, I wouldn't enter at all. I would just chill out in the hot tub, go to the shallow pool area, kiddie pool area, chill out in the sauna, or just go at a different time altogether. He went at a busy time or a time where they're just four people that decided to do split swimming. So uh, if there is split swimming, just you have to notify the people that are in the lane when they're on the break. Hey, do you mind if I join and we change this to circle swimming or notify the lifeguard, bring a third party into this conversation and say, hey, the lifeguard here says uh, we're going to do circle swimming. They have no other choice but to relent. So <clears throat> always know who you're swimming with. If I see a lane and it's filled with really fast swimmers or people that are doing like like fast competitive 50 meter front crawl bah, 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 really fast i'm not going to join that lane obviously because i'm long distance lap swimming i'm going to be doing hundreds of slow front crawl or breaststroke okay so if i see an empty lane but that lane says fast it's empty i'm going to take that lane until another swimmer joins my lane. And if that swimmer is swimming fast, I know I have to, my time's up. I have to find a different lane. Because again, know who you're swimming with. Know your environment, okay? And oftentimes I get out of a lane if I'm swimming with people that are incompatible with me, okay? It's hard. It's really demotivating, especially when you're like in my mind, right? I gotta do 40 laps consistently. Right? And I, I don't have no time for interruption. I cannot be interrupted with the, those 40 laps. Okay, and it's going to take me an hour or more. Who knows? But I'm going to swim nonstop. To, to have someone jump into my lane and disrupt that flow pisses me off. Okay, if you're a swimmer, if, if you're a comp competent swimmer, you know what I'm talking about. So always know who you're swimming with. Always assess the situation before you even enter the water. Okay, if I was this kid, I wish I would have said, oh, no, I'm not going to swim at this time. I'm going to find a later time to swim, a less non-busier time. I prefer uh, lunchtime or just before closing. Those are the two times in a public pool when it's least crowded. Or just find a new pool altogether. Go to a private pool or a condo pool if you can get access to one. Okay, that way you have no one to compete with. There's no one in those pools and you can swim forever. Okay, so always think outside the box okay don't always assume that people know what you're, you're you're trying to imply by just jumping into the water a bomb bottle okay and by the way yeah this kid is asking for validation was he right or was he wrong uh he was right and wrong at the same time okay he should have known better to before jumping into the water what he's going to deal with he should have communicated with these people that were split swimming and he could have better, chosen a better pool, a better time. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, was he right for swimming behind the girl? Uh, if they were circle swimming, then yeah, he would have been right. But he wasn't. He didn't. He knew beforehand they were split swimming. So there you go. That's my answer. Da da da. Okay. So uh, get my free ebook. The link's down below. Thanks for watching. My name's Justin. Have fun swimming this summer. And bye.